Now we will discuss about the abducent nerve. This is sixth cranial nerve. Here is brain stem. This is midbrain, this is pons, this is medulla oblongata. And here is position of six nerve nuclei. The six nerve nuclei from here nerve fiber passes like this and and that nerve here is facial nerve which from the facial colliculus here so this is six nerve if you got a transverse section at this level you will find here is position of six nerve. This is seventh nerve. And this is elevation. This this is facial colliculus. So this uh, this sixth nerve after arising from this is pons passes forward and one another thing here is position of petrous temporal bone. This is petrous temporal bone, apex of the petrous temporal bone. This is basi occiput. So it turns from here, downward, forward and then upward. It crosses like this. Here you can see it has two bends and here is, this is sharp bend. So one bend is here, one bend is here, here. and it has three parts. One part second part and third part. This third part, this passes into the cavernous sinus. Here is position of the cavernous sinus. So it is passes into the cavernous sinus. So, here is position of This is anterior inferior cerebral artery. So it crosses the anterior inferior cerebral artery here, it runs forward. Here is position of the cavernous sinus. Here is internal carotid artery and here is a group this is group and this group here is covered by a roof this roof is formed by a ligament this ligament is known as Grubber's ligament. This is Grubber's ligament. This ligament is Grubber's ligament. Also known as petroclinoid ligament. This is posterior clinoid process. This is apex of the petrous temporal bone. Between posterior clinoid process and apex of the petrous temporal bone, this is petroclinoid. 
और पेट्रो डोरेलो कैनाल फॉरवर्ड इनफिनोलेट्रल टू this internal cavity artery and this is to be orbital fissure and this fissure is divided into three part by tendinous ring this is lateral medial and intermediate part and through this it nerves passes through the middle part and here is position of This is orbit. Here is eyeball. This is eyeball, and here is position of lateral rectus. This is lateral rectus. So it passes through middle part and then runs lateral side and gives supply to this lateral rectus from orbital surface. So this is course of this. course of the abducens nerve it arises from the pons abducens nerve nuclei and then passes in relation to this anterior inferior cerebral artery then here it passes through dorsal canal cavernous sinus here is middle part of the superior orbital fissure then it gives supply to this lateral rectus so this is abducendal part 1 thank you part 2 in this part you can see there is this is course of the abducendal nerve here this course is from here to here from here to here here is the apex of the pectus temporal bone in case of increased intracranial pressure when intracranial pressure is raised Then this vein stem slightly descends downward, and during descent downward, this nerve is pulled and stretch here. And here and here at the apex of the pectus temporal bone, it is stretched and damaged here easily. So this nerve is most commonly injured in case of increased intracranial pressure. If this nerve is injured, then what happens? this muscle is paralyzed if this muscle is paralyzed then <coughs> there is medial diplopia or medial or this if this is paralyzed then here muscle medial rectus pulls this towards the medial side so diplopia occurs this is known as convergent diplopia convergent because this moves towards this side this is convergent squint and diplopia one and the important thing it also contains proprioceptive fibers from this so it has two components general 
somatic efferent and general somatic afferent. So proprioceptive fiber from here reaches to the mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal. This reaches up to the mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal. So these are the functional component of this nerve. And another important thing, this nerve is also known as lover's nerve. Because the contraction of this muscle sometimes used as the non-verbal communication between the lovers. That's why it is known as abducent, nerve is known as lover's nerve. Thank you.